Mortal Kombat 1 has a vast roster of combatants that each thrive and play in their own style. When it comes to the base roster of this game, it can be pretty intimidating deciding who to pick up and learn first. Out of this entire roster, one combatant stands out as the perfect choice. Reptile. In my opinion, Reptile is overall the best combatant to pick up when starting with Mortal Kombat 1. Reptile has multiple elements to his character that make him one of, if not the best base combatant to start with. Given the tools on his kit, he has an expansive arsenal of moves, two very solid airstrings that lead into more combo or cameo moves, and a repertoire of all-around special moves ranging from projectiles to grabs to even his series legacy special move, his invisibility. Reptile can definitely be a menace on the ground with moves that can hit from all different ranges and in the air, which allow for extensions and setup for cameo moves and harder hitting combo damage. At the end of the day, Reptile's kit makes him a solid choice all around if you're looking for your next or even your very first combatant. Reptile has an all-around arsenal of moves on his kit that can be enacted at multiple ranges with multiple different effects and hit detection. Looking at a few of them, here are some good basic moves to get started with. Looking to start off, we'll look at his down one leg strike. This is a basic strike attack that is usually really good to use when you're blocking at a close range, and you want to go down and get a quick tap or maybe even open up your opponent for a grab or even an enhanced dash attack. The standing base 3 attack called Crocodile. I, I, I don't think I said that right. I'm pretty sure it's just Crocodile. Anyways, this move is really great because it is a double hit high into mid tail to kick move that pushes your opponent back a good distance. I like this move a lot because it's a double hit and it can be hit from a fair distance. The tail of two hitties and sneaky lizard attacks are two of the same, but one hits from a little bit of a further distance. This has two variations in 2-4 and 4-2-4 that do the same thing and they both start like the 4-2-3 launcher, so this is very good to use in a match if you want to catch your opponent off guard, since most people who play Reptile use 4-2-3 a lot, myself included, and this can be used to switch it up to do a mid into a low instead of usually doing your mid into a high. The Killer Kick 114 string is a pretty nice string being in a high into two mids that does a mini launch on hit. I like doing this with a cameo in order to continue the move, but a downside being you have to be pretty close to get it to work. The back forward attack, diving for it, is a low attack and is really great to start the match because it has a fantastic range and you can usually secure the first hit of the match if you just dash and quickly go into it. It doesn't have much going for it, but it can be enacted with certain cameos, and if you don't want to use your cameo, this move is still great just for the range alone. Reptile has a vast arsenal of special moves, which he can use most of to chain base moves for good string damage. We're going to take a look at each of them and how the moves act along with some tips to get the most out of these specials. This move acts as a projectile that causes the opponent to be stunned for a brief duration upon hit. When executing the move only acts at a short range, but if you amplify the move it grows bigger and extends a further range. I personally only use this move to get away or push the opponent into the corner or in sync with a cameo such as Darius or Rotaro for further string continuation. So I would use this move sparingly and not think about the amplified version as it does not give you many options and can be easily blocked if you're not fast enough being 20 on startup and negative 21 on block. This, as the name implies, is Reptile's dash move. This move is pretty slow compared to his previous game variants and can only hit while the opponent is actively standing on the ground. I mainly use this move in combo ending situations such as back 2-1 or 4-2-1 as a mix-up option. Another key factor is distance. This move can be used to close the distance between you and your opponent to keep applying pressure in the match or to help you get out of the corner in unfavorable match placements. The range on it is not very far so the opponent usually upon seeing you execute this move will go for a block and if you know the range of it you can punish it with a low attack or his grab which Reptile really excels at in this game. When amplifying the move the first hit will become armored and allow you to dash to the opponent even if they're blocking followed with the overhead hit. This is very strong on wake up due to some opponents not being aware that it can dash with the first hit. However due to it being negative 10 on block this can open Reptile up for punishment. Use this as a good mix up option or immediately at the start of the match to secure the first hit. This is Reptile's main projectile move and it is very versatile in how it works. You have three speeds you can choose from, the base being down forward 3 which goes a fair amount of distance at a fair speed, the slow force ball with down forward 3 and holding back but at the cost of it not going very far, 
and lastly the fast force ball down forward three holding forward. Essentially all of these do the same thing, however upon amplifying you can get a little more distance and speed for each of these. You only really want to do this with the slow force ball since it has the shortest distance on base. This can help close the distance and aid if you are getting zoned out. Each of these force balls can be used once per string, however if you want to use more than one, make sure you do two different speeds, such as a normal into a fast or a fast into a slow. You can also break this chain by enhancing your force ball during your combo. This is a low special that acts as a grab move and is hands down one of my favorite moves to do as Reptile. This move is great for mix-up options in strings such as 4 2 one or 4 3 2 and of course great for ending strings that you enact with cameos. This move is pretty punishable on block being negative 30 on block and having 42 recovery frames. My tip is to make sure you either end your combo string with it or you have a cameo that's going to help stop you from being punished. Now this is one of Reptile's best gimmicks, which has been present throughout the series, his invisibility. This is a great tactic to pull out whenever you want to confuse your opponent on what you want to do next. However, this is very flawed and unlike Smoke's invisibility, is not able to stay. Normally it takes around 3 seconds to set and will last around 4 seconds when you are invisible. If you want to spend the meter, you can set it in half the time and last around 6 seconds. This is why Reptile's invisibility is best when acting with a cameo such as Scorpion. Or Sub Zero. Or even Sector. This is to allow Reptile to get the full potential out of his move while in setting. So, why can't we just do this by itself without a combo or a cameo? Well, unlike his other invisible friend Smoke, Reptile can be knocked out of his invisibility if you so much as breathe on him as it's setting or after it's set, regardless if you're blocking or not. Not even spending the bar to amplify it can stop you from being knocked out of it. This makes his invisibility very weak, but if you're quick enough to enable it and have it set, you can do more combo damage with the help from your cameo, or even set up for a throw and get some free damage in there. This move is Reptile's air control move, along with a very strong combo string in it. You have two variants in down back 4 which is the normal range, or down back 4 hold back which is a closer rendition of this move. The best use of this is ending air strings with it such as J12 and it especially works well with J233. This move can also be used to stop your opponent from going to the air and doing their air moves with something like J3 into down back 4. While this move is great for air control and ending combo strings, you can also do this move on the ground which many people are not aware of. By pressing 3 and immediately going down back 4 activates this move. I love doing this at the start of the match because both attacks are very quick and most of the time your opponent does not have enough time to react. From my experience in Mortal Kombat 1, Reptile is very balanced in terms of damage. You can do many routes that allow for high damage without a cameo or burning your meter. Starting off, back 3-1 is a very optimal starter string being low into a mid which can change into the force ball to set up for more string damage. When using this string it has a pretty good distance and I would recommend doing back 3-1 into a string like this. Back 2 is a great charge move that allows for a strong overhead and is newly implemented for cameo interruption and it also cancels into his specials like his acid spit or death roll. I like doing this move because Reptile gets the most of his routes started with the low and mid strings, so throwing in an overhead can usually catch your opponent off guard, at least in my experience. Charge this fully and it allows the opponent to be launched in the air to continue something like 4-2-1-1 or 1-1-4 or any route that you can find optimal. 4-2-3 or just the base 2-3 move is a great launcher with a bunch of potential. You can do this up to 3 times before you get your opponent pushed away from you, so in reality you would need to do this twice in order to set up for more damage afterwards. One of the best things you can do after 2-4-2-3 moves is the 4-3-2 claw grab to stun and set up for invisibility or another cameo interaction. And if you want to continue the route otherwise, throw a force ball in there for another pop up leading into more damage. Just like the main roster, cameos also play in their own way and offer special moves to aid your combatant through the fight. Reptile is a very special case here because he is not cameo dependent. As seen in the previous sections, he can do some pretty good damage, even meterless without them. But when looking for the perfect cameo for Reptile, there are two main things you want to look for when using them. 
safety, and air extension. First, Reptile has certain moves that are very punishable on block. You want to have your cameo basically as a get out of jail free card to stop your opponent from punishing you and opening up for a devastating combo. Secondly, one of my favorite ways of playing Reptile, or pretty much any combatant on this roster, is doing air combo extension. Both of Reptile's air strings have potential of being extended with the right cameo. However, like I said before, Reptile excels with and without a cameo, so this gives you many options when picking your cameo and how you want to approach playing Reptile. My top three picks with Reptile are Scorpion, Sonya, and Striker. Here are some tips and tricks on each of these top three and how they aid Reptile in getting a victory within combat. Scorpion. In how I approach Reptile as a combatant, Scorpion all around is the best cameo choice for him. I love keeping opponents off the ground and myself in the air with him, and he is able to help me just do that, even if I don't launch them at first. On top of the air combo extension, Scorpion also allows for a great overhead mix-up and a reset pullback option if you find yourself in an unsafe environment. Scorpion's first cameo move is his fireball. The main use of this move is air control and air combo extension. Reptile has two air strings, J12 and J233, that both chain to this move allowing for more damage and combo extension. You can also summon this move at different ranges in order to place Scorpion where he needs to be for it to land and to continue your combo string. While this move is mainly used in air control, Reptile has certain moves on his kits, just back 313, or even the basic 3 attack, which falls right into the Scorpion's fireballs, allowing for more damage. In my opinion, 432 is the strongest route and allows for the most setups and continuation when you want to use this move, but you cannot seem to get your opponent in the air. This sets up for more damage within the acid ball or the most important thing is invisibility. This move is very great for setting up invisibility with the string ending in 432. As the invisibility sets or the opponent is in the air, you can continue with the force ball, which is the most optimum route, or another 432 into a death roll, which will both yield time for the base invisibility to set. Reptile's basic combo strings 4, 2, 4, and back 3, 1, 3 also allow this cameo move to land and go into some more damage via the force ball or another combo string continuation that you find. Even something as simple as 4, 2, 1, 1 into this move can end with his death roll. Scorpion's next move is an overhead and a great mix-up option for Reptile. Reptile has two basic overheads in back 2 and charge back 2, however they aren't very useful in the combo strings. This move allows for it to connect with something such as 4-2-1 into your force ball or something in low into overhead mix-up back 2-1 leading into the back or death roll. Or even a stun to set up his invisibility. This move is also negative 2 on block, so it's very safe to commit to this move and open up for a special or something else. The last move you get with Scorpion is his pullback spear. Reptile has a great deal of moves that are very unsafe and are very punishable on block, especially when it comes to his special moves. This is where Scorpion's pullback spear comes into play. This armored cameo move is great for being able to take a breather and reset if you're about to get caught in a high damage string. Take back 4 2 for example. It is negative 17 on block, and if you amplify it, it's negative 10 on block, which leaves Reptile open for more damage. Using this back cameo input will allow him to distance and reset. Sonya Blaine. Sonya falls into the same category as Scorpion. She works well with pretty much anybody on the roster. She has air extension with her air square wave, a mid projectile that you can charge like Kung Lao's hat and set up to go high or low as it's being fired at your opposition, and a grab that allows for more extension and also turning the tide against your opponent. This by far is the best move Sonya has on her kit to help Reptile with his extensions and set up for harder hitting combo damage. This move changed very easily into many of his launchers such as the 4-2-3 or the base 2-3 move, the force ball special move and even something as basic as his 4-2-4. Four, four. Alongside the ground starters, this base cameo move allows for good air combo extension. J12's hit animation was changed from release, and this move allows for good use of Sonya's air move into another attack, or allowing Reptile to land on the ground and prepare for an extension on the fall, such as a launcher or a combo ender. On the other hand, J233 also works very well with the air square wave, allowing for another launcher or ender to be performed. 
this is Sonya's projectile. You can do one of two things. Call the move and fire it as a knockback, or hold a charge and go into a low attack since your opponent will have to block one of the moves regardless. My favorite setup with the charge variation is going to the backboard for a death roll move, since the rings act as a mid, giving your opponent very little time to react. This is Sonya's famous grab move. This is a staple on her kit and allows for you to flip your position while slamming your opponent where they bounce on the ground for a brief period of time to allow for more move potential. While this move is great for catching your opponent off guard, it does not have the greatest range, so you would need to be pretty close when executing it. You could do something like forward 2-1 into the grab, or back 3-1 into the grab, which remember does pop up the opponent long enough for you to strike, and then go into something like this. Or this with another call to Sonya. Striker. Striker, like the other two cameos I paired Reptile with, works super well with anyone on the roster. He is one of, if not the most popular cameo at the moment for many good reasons. He basically has everything on his kit from projectiles to mix-ups to even a restand. Striker really excels when it comes to going for unsafe moves and his kit definitely shines when it comes to Reptile. This is Striker's little baton sweep. It has a fairly decent range and is used for good mix-up options when your opponent is blocking one way or another. Since this is a low, you would want to do something like a mid or a high and to end with this move, such as a 4-2-1 or a 4-3-1. This move can also surprisingly be used as an ender to his launchers or acid balls if you time it right. This is the other baton move that Striker has, but this one is an overhead. This one is a bit weaker in my opinion because the range on it is not as great compared to its counterpart, so you would need to be pretty close in order to hit this directly. I would use this as a mix-up option when you're going for lows like back 3-1 and ending it there, or just like its counterpart, it can also be used in air launchers. These are Striker's projectiles and are very versatile in how they work. They can be used for things such as air extension or combo stuns, but at a higher combat level they are mainly used for safety to go for unsafe things. These will force your opponent to have to take one of the hits whether it be your move or his grenades. They are both mids and deal about 60 base damage, but the major downside of this cameo move is how slow it is on startup. They both do 57 and 59 on startup respectively, and compared to something like Scorpion's Fireballs or Serena's Blade, it is very slow. So looking at the first scenario, we can use these combo extenders by 4 2 one string like this, making sure to call the low grenades right as the acid ball hits. Or something as basic as 1-1-4 and the high grenades to go into the launcher, death roll combo ender. As for air continuation, I have found that Reptile's J12 is the best case of being able to land these grenades after your throw. You could technically land J233, but depending on where you call Striker, you would have to be precise, and in this game where cameos are essential to your victory, I would not chance it. Looking at the safety aspect, which is the main reason why you would want to use these, it can help with the invisibility setup to zone out your opponent while it sets. Another use is being able to charge up your back to overhead, calling striker mid charge, when the knockback is happening from the block, going for an amplified back forward for death roll. The charge back to move has a newly implemented mid cameo call, so you can charge this move, go for striker to negate the 31 recovery frames, and then go into the low move. All in all, these projectiles are very popular, but whether you're playing reptile or another combatant, make sure you do your research on how he affects your gameplay style. This is Striker's Restand move, which comes from behind and hits as a high move. This has some pretty good use, but you'd have to be pretty quick in order to get its full potential. I would basically use this to go into an amplified move such as the dash attack or his death roll. This is also very good for restanding on the corner for more pop-up damage and extending your combos. Let's get into the Fatal Blow of Reptile. Reptile has an overhead Fatal Blow that does base 350 damage just like every other combatant on the roster. This Fatal Blow is extremely punishable being 31 on startup, 74 on recovery, and if it's blocked, you're in for negative 36 on block and negative 46 on flawless block, so you want to make sure this lands if you go for it. For the best results, I recommend that you combo into this to ensure that your opponent is caught off guard or stunned long enough for you to hit the attack with your tail. Reptile originally had one optimal string input that would always guarantee that your fatal blow was lamb, that being 432. However, now that the game has been updated and it's in its current state, back 3-1 also allows for the opponent to be knocked back in the animation long enough to land this fatal blow. 
If you want something quick to secure the fatal blow to end the round, or your opponent is being difficult to keep consistent strings with, you can do back 3-1 and instantly land this move. With these two routes, you mainly have more combo potential with 4-3-2. You can chain something like this, and then ending with the 4-3-2. Or depending on your cameo, you can do something like this. Or even something like this. Reptile has six base brutalities, two of them which are universal to the entire roster being the classic and the grab variations. When it comes to the combo ending brutalities, you can do three of them in a combo with it, but the other three have to be done alone. Let's take a look at each of them and see how we can get the most optimal brutalities out of Reptile. The classic down two brutality is something that everyone has and of course is a callback to Johnny Cage's fatality from the first Mortal Kombat back in 1992. To land this brutality, you have to do your down 2 move and hold 2 in the last hit. This is the second universal brutality that Reptile has, and it is done by doing his grab move and pressing down 3 times during the move. This one is really good because grabs are usually used when your opponent is blocking a ton and you are just over it, so you can grab them and take a huge chunk out of their arm. This brutality is his back forward four death roll special move and is done by pressing up three times as the move hits. You can do this down right out of the game, however you would really want to do this as a combo ender due to the frame beta that we talked about previously. Again, with Scorpion being my main cameo for Reptile, here's a fun little route that I like doing. Yes, combo into the brutality, big slay. This brutality is another callback to one of Reptile's first fatalities in Mortal Kombat 2, but unlike his first playable appearance, you do not have to be invisible to perform it. You only have to hit back forward 2 and hold 2 in order for it to land. Combo wise, you only really can do a starter string with it due to your opponent having to be actively standing on the ground to land this move. Remember, enhancing the move dashes through the block, and if your opponent has no meter for chip damage, it's game over for them. This move is great because as stated before, Reptile does a lot of lows and mids for his starters, or at least I do, and this overhead is perfect for catching your opponent off guard. To do this move, hold your back to attack to its full charge and then let her rip. I hope this person has jacks on speed dial. This final brutality is a fun one because it uses the 4-3-2 claw move, and if you remember from previous sections, this move is one of the best ways to end your string with Reptile. This is a very good ending bit to your combo strings, and you can end the match with style. To do this, you end the move with 4-3-2 and hold back as the last hit is hitting to rip your opponent to shreds. Reptile has two fatalities, and they're both pretty good in my opinion. I remember watching his reveal trailer over the summer and seeing this fatality and being like, yep, that is definitely the guy I want to main in this game, amongst very much other reasons. <laughs> I love that they showcased the Zentarian form in both of these and made him look as vicious as ever. This fatality is absolutely gorgeous. This was the perfect way to showcase Reptile in this new timeline. You have someone who's always been the series punching bag getting one of the best fatalities in the game. Not that I'm like totally biased or anything, but like whatever. To do this, make sure you are standing at a mid distance and put in forward back down four and watch Reptile have a little snack after his victory. This one is also very cool and a fun take on the classic head decapitation fatality. Many people were wondering what that tongue do since this scene in the story. Um, ciao. Anyway, so... And now we get a taste of how deadly it really is. Standing at a close distance, input forward, down, back, three to really see how dangerous reptile can be.
reptile wins. I want to thank all of you for watching my in-depth reptile guide and I hope you enjoyed and maybe even learned a little bit in the process. I have a deep love for Mortal Kombat and I've been playing the games for well over 20 years and I'm so happy I get to share that love with you. When Mortal Kombat 1 first dropped, I spent the first 50 or so hours in game just learning Reptile and I'm always looking to learn more and to share it with the community. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more in the future, make sure to leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, you know, the YouTube things. Yeah, let's go with that. I also stream three days a week on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash iconic curb, double I C O N I C curb. <laughs> and you can find me at my socials down in the description. Stay tuned for more Mortal content, all the shorts, and all fun things coming soon. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.